What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some camera tests of the brand new camera from Nikon, the mirrorless Z7. We're gonna look at two different tests. The first one is the high ISO performance, going from 100 ISO all the way up to 56,000, and then we're gonna look at the exposure recovery, so shooting some footage with it over and underexposed and see how much we can actually bring back in post-production. At the end, there's also gonna be some sample footage if you wanna take a look at how this camera looks sort of out in the field. So for our camera setup, we're shooting in 4K, we're using the neutral color profile, and we also are shooting with the Sigma 50 millimeter F 1.4, which is what we use to test the EOS R camera. So we're really getting some apples to apples on the sensors because the lenses are basically the same. If you wanna see all of our camera settings, they're gonna be in the description below, so you can go check those out. So let's roll this first test looking at the high ISO performance. So starting at ISO 100, we're going from a neutral color profile to a graded, more contrasty image. In the upper right hand corner, you can see a 300% crop in on the chip chart there, just so you can see in better detail what the ISO levels and the noise is actually doing. Going up to 200 ISO, we're not really seeing any shift or any added noise in there, so this is still a really clean image. Going up to 400 ISO, which is another stop, we're not getting any noise in there as well, so this is still a really, really clean image and this is definitely usable. Going up to 800 ISO, this is still a very, very solid image, and we're starting to see a tiny, tiny bit of movement in there, but this is totally acceptable and definitely usable. Going up to 1600 ISO, another stop. We're starting to see a little more dancing in those shadow areas, but there's no color noise that's being introduced. Up to 3200 ISO, same thing, a little bit more dancing and moving around in those shadow areas, but no color noise. Up to 6400 ISO, even a little bit more dancing, we're still having some natural looking green and we're not getting those crazy colors added in. Up to 12,800, we're definitely starting to see a little bit of softening up of the image and we're seeing a ton of dancing around in those shadow areas like you can see in the black chip in the crop in, but still no color noise. And this is with the noise reduction in camera turned off. So we know we're not getting any cleaning up from that. It's just a really, really solid noise floor. And then up to our last ISO level at 25,600. This is really, really impressive that this camera is going up this high and you're not even seeing a color shift and really no colors introduced with those magentas and greens. So that was the high ISO performance of the Nikon Z7. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the exposure recovery over and under exposing the image to see how much we can get back in post-production. So we're going to start at our correct exposure, we're at an f8, 1 40th of a second, and we're going to go to our underexposed image first. So starting on the left, we have our actual shot, which is one stop underexposed, in the middle is our correct exposure, and on the right is the recovered shot, or what we've been able to bring back in post-production. So going to two stops under, we're still able to bring a lot of this detail back. You're not really seeing any color shift in the shadows as well, which is really nice to see. As we go to three stops underexposed, we're starting to see a little bit of desaturation and maybe a little bit of green in the shadow areas, but we're definitely able to get all of that information back. Now to four stops underexposed, even more desaturation, it almost has like a bleached bypass look, and we're starting to see more of that green shift in the shadows. Down to five stops, there is a massive green shift in basically the whole image, it's not even just in the shadows, and we're having a very desaturated look. So going back to our correct exposure, we're gonna go in the opposite direction now, overexposing the image and seeing how much we can bring back. So starting with one stop overexposed, you can see we're already starting to lose a little bit of detail in those brighter areas. If you look at the paint chip right over my left shoulder, you can see we're starting to lose a little bit of that inner circle. Going up to two stops, we're losing a ton more detail, a lot in the face, and basically any of the brighter areas of the image. Going to three stops, even more so, this is basically completely washed out and totally unusable at this point. Even two stops over was pretty, it was, was pushing it pretty hard. Now to four stops, almost completely white on the actual shot, and we're not able to get any of that information back. And this is partly due because we're not shooting in a log profile. And then we're gonna go to five stops, washed out and recovered shot, totally unusable. Just good to throw in here so you can see how it actually handles. So that's gonna wrap it up for all of the camera tests of the Nikon Z7. I hope you guys are getting a lot out of these tests. And if you wanna try the camera out for yourself, there's gonna be links in the description, so definitely go and check that out. If you guys have any questions about the Nikon Z7, make sure to leave those in the comments. If you wanna see more videos just like this, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.